So what we have here is Microsoft's Office for the iPad on an iPad Air. First time Office has ever been on the iPad platform. Three applications, Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. They're all free to use, although you can't edit or create new documents. If you have an Office 365 account, you pay $99 a year, then they're fully functioning applications. What's really special about this is this is unmistakably Office, but platform optimized, meaning that we want to deliver a genuine and authentic Office experience on a platform that is unmistakably um, iPad as well. And now you see an interface that is familiar yet iPad friendly. So it has a lot of icons that you might recognize from a traditional Word environment, but it's incredibly stripped down. Would you say that it does or doesn't have a ribbon? It, I would say it does. We did put a ribbon on it. So basically okay. it definitely has the ribbon and that was by design. We wanted to make sure that um, when you uh, launched um, Office for iPad, you felt right at home. We wanted to make sure that um, the familiar elements or the iconic aspects of uh, the desktop product also showed up on the iPad. So it was very deliberate to actually introduce right. that. You can insert photos for every slide. You can apply a transition. The transition effects are actually pretty cool. Uh, and fairly powerful stuff. You can move it around. Again, once again, you have the larger anchors, which makes it easier to change things. We wanted to make sure that we didn't design it with the, you know keyboard and mouse in mind because that's they don't exist. So yes, we wanted to make sure. And you know, the great thing is about it, we did start from start from a blank slate, so to speak. And in doing so, what we were able to do is to free ourselves from assumptions that we had in the past where, you know, keep on Mars were existent, were there, but um, since they're not, we want to make sure that everything just worked great with the touch of your finger. As you would expect with the Word document, of course, you can search for words that are within it. You can also find and replace and even go to matching the case, matching whole words, pretty much as you would do in standard Word. You can see here, you can create autofill so if we select all of this we tap fill and now we just drag and I have to say spending just a little bit of hands-on time with these three products it's pretty cool I can't wait to really dive in but I did feel kind of your intention there that this is the real deal it doesn't feel like something that doesn't belong on the iPad not all the features you might expect but most that you probably want and that's really the idea that Microsoft had when bringing this office suite to the iPad you can get quite a lot of work done they're easy to use because they're very familiar and while we know they'll be in the App Store this week we also know that Microsoft plans on delivering updates quite soon uh, they're in the habit now of updating their software it seems every other week so if there are features missing like for example the ability to print or the ability to copy and paste uh, transpositions in Excel those things could appear later. As for whether or not there'll be other app additions to the Office Suite, don't know yet.